I remember the day. All right, so what they're asking us to do, or what we're going to at least do in this example, um, is at least just be able to write the, uh, write the ratios for our angle R, all right? So again, when going to this, when we base our R, you guys can see I have three different angles, R, S, and T. But if I only want to find the ratios for R, I'm going to circle it so I don't get it confused with everything else. Because once I know which angle I'm going to find the ratios for, Jordan, the next thing I need to do is find out all the side lengths compared to that angle. So the first one, which is our favorite, is the hypotenuse, because that's directly across from 90 degree angle. That one's the easy one, right? But again, remember that the adjacent and the opposite are going to change compared to what angle you're talking about. Since I'm talking about angle R, the adjacent, remember, is the, a is the side length between my angle and the 90 degree angle. So that is my adjacent side for angle R. Where this side length, see how this side length is not connected to my angle R? So therefore, it is opposite of my angle R. So we call it the opposite side. Ding, 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 ding. Right? So they're asking us to do three, uh, five, or show us um, the three ratios. So we have the sine ratio, the cosine ratio, and the tangent ratio. Now, if you're taking a test and you didn't write them down, and hopefully you wrote them down like uh, Devin did um, over the homework quiz, but you guys have to know how the ratios of these angles relate. So I'll write them down one more time for you. The sine of, ratio, uh, sine of r is equal to the ratio of your opposite side over your hypotenuse. The cosine of your angle r is equal to the ratio of your adjacent side over your hypotenuse. And the tangent of your angle r is equal to the ratio of your opposite side over your adjacent side. So now I just take what are those side lengths? Well, thankfully, at the beginning, I labeled them, so I just plugged them in. So that is equal to opposite, which would be 10 over 26. This is 24 over 26. And tangent is going to be 10 over 24. Okay, And we could go ahead and simplify them, um, but I'm not really going to be too concerned because we're going to be using our calculator, and it's not going to matter if they're simplified or not. Um, so I would just leave them like that is fine for me. Um, but that is all you've got to do for setting them up. Any questions? That's all you guys have.